So to apply policing to token buckets, what's often done is to use what's called a composite shaper, which is to combine a token bucket shaper with a leaky bucket. The combination of the token bucket shaper with a leaky bucket shaper allows for good policing, confirming that the flow's data rate does not exceed the average data rate allowed by the smooth leaky bucket is easy. But the implementation is more complex since each flow now requires two counters and two timers, one timer and one counter for each bucket.